Hello, I'm Tim Mullett. I'm a uh, thoracic surgeon at the University of Kentucky and uh, also serve as the chair of the American College of Surgeons Commission on Cancer. Uh, our opportunity to present at ASCO centered around a couple of quality improvement projects that we developed uh, using a national expert panel and ultimately we're able to roll this out offering it to our 1500 cancer programs across the country. Uh, the Commission on Cancer represents a spectrum of programs, large and small, uh, but uh, in our data collection we have over 76 percent of the cancer patients that are represented. So we felt that this would be a good platform for us to be able to explore how we can influence tobacco treatment in cancer patients. So our first exploration was to offer a quality improvement in tobacco assessment during the cancer experience. So for patients with a newly diagnosed cancer undergoing treatment of, of any kind, we wanted to make certain that they were being assessed for their use of tobacco. The um, uh, project was quite successful, increasing uh, the assessment of tobacco from approximately 80% to 98% over uh, 730 programs across the country. Um, the second project that we uh, developed was to take that knowledge of knowing that we could increase the assessment of tobacco and how we could influence those programs that participate uh, to be able to increase the assistance of patients to referral to tobacco treatment. And so uh, we developed a series of practice change uh, interventions and we then explored uh, ways that, that over, 300 and, uh, over 300 programs were going to be able to uh, try and assist more patients into tobacco treatment. And we were able to get our assist rates up to 68% uh, in those uh, 300 programs that participated. The bottom line is that um, uh, through the course of these two projects, we had uh, over 700,000 patients influenced by the first assessment of, assistant, of assessing patients for tobacco use and uh, nearly 300,000 patients uh, through the second project of increasing their assistance into tobacco treatment. So nearly a million patients were influenced uh, by these two quality improvement projects uh, to try and recognize the dangers of tobacco use during a cancer diagnosis and to appreciate the increased um, uh, survival of these patients, decreasing complication rates, and increasing adherence to their full cancer treatment. So we feel that this is a, a novel and interesting way for us to use national quality improvement projects to change practice behavior. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Onca Daily on YouTube. Hit the bell icon to stay updated.